back to where it all started. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. perfect. For former Brookfield Central star athlete Joe Thomas. Beautiful sign here. His first time seeing the stadium named after him, an Olympic track and field gold medalist, Kenny Harrison. I had to take a second when I saw Harrison Thomas Field um, because it was totally unexpected and it was such an incredible honor. I love it. And as you move closer to the field, his athletic accomplishments in print. It's pretty awesome because as a lineman, we don't have a lot of stats. There's not always a lot of great stuff that we get talked about because usually when we're highlighted, it's bowling 73. As he adds to his resume with the Pro Football Hall of Fame, he's enjoying this trip down memory lane. To think about all the moments that I spent here, and this is where I started playing football because I played Junior Lancers in seventh grade and we practiced and we played games right outside of those gates. I think about all the joy and fun and cool moments that happened here in front of my parents and all my classmates. After high school, Thomas scored two All-American Offensive Lineman honors with the Badgers. What is your proudest moment as a Badger? My own proudest individual moment was winning the Outland Trophy. The third overall pick in the 2007 NFL Draft. Instead of going to New York for draft day, he famously went fishing. Just wanted to relax and, and spend another day with my father. For me, that time was much more well spent doing what I loved, doing what I've been doing on Saturdays since I was a little kid and I was fishing with my dad on Lake Michigan. The Wisconsin native went on to play 11 years in the NFL, all with the Cleveland Browns. Oh my God, that's cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think the proudest moment for me as a Cleveland Brown now is being elected to the Hall of Fame. I, I really like that NFL record for consecutive snaps, you know, being called NFL's Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas emotional, his wife Annie and their four kids. Whoa, Reese Roo. Get to experience this special time with him. <laughs> and I heard my son's words when he said, he said, he said, Daddy, we made it. You know, it it wasn't Daddy, you made it, it's Daddy, we made it. And I was like, dude, you didn't play any snaps. Five years after he retired, the former Brickfield Central Lancer still has fun on the field. Yeah, you're the center. I'm the, okay. the left tackle. Okay. And then snap. <laughs> oh, and then elbow drop. <laughs> and Thomas didn't just play football. You know, it's funny in basketball, I was six, seven when I was 14, when I was a freshman here. So, of course, I thought I was going to the NBA. Hey, still got the track and field records. I was wondering about that. <laughs> and one state titles in shot put and discus. So I always had a great passion for track and field. This not so average Joe appreciates where he came from. How many different stops that took me to come all the way back here to see my name on the field is just uh, incredibly special.